Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney Narrated by Ramon de Ocampo September Wednesday I guess Dad must have been pretty happy with himself for making me go outside yesterday because he did it again today. It's getting really annoying to have to go up to Rowley's every time I want to play a video game. There's this weird kid named Fregley who lives halfway between my house and Rowley's, and Fregley is always hanging out in his front yard, so it's pretty hard to avoid him. Fregley is in my phys ed class at school, and he has this whole made-up language. Like when he needs to go to the bathroom, he says, Juice! Juice! Us kids have pretty much figured Fregley out by now, but I don't think the teachers have really caught on yet. They keep bringing him juice. Today, I probably would have gone up to Rowley's on my own anyway, because my brother Roderick and his band were practicing down in the basement. Roderick's band is really awful, and I can't stand being home when they're having rehearsals. His band is called Loaded Diaper, only it's spelled L-O-D-E-D-D-I-P-E-R on Roderick's van. You might think he spelled it that way to make it look cooler, but I bet if you told Roderick how Loaded Diaper is really spelled, it would be news to him. Dad was against the idea of Roderick starting a band, but Mom was all for it. She's the one who bought Roderick his first drum set. I think Mom has this idea that we're all going to learn to play instruments and then become one of those family bands like you see on TV. Dad really hates heavy metal, and that's the kind of music Roderick and his band play. I don't think Mom really cares what Roderick plays or listens to, because to her, all music is the same. In fact, earlier today, Roderick was listening to one of his CDs in the family room, and Mom came in and started dancing. That really bugged Roderick, so he drove off to the store and came back 15 minutes later with some headphones. And that pretty much took care of the problem. <laughs>